<laughs> okay. Hello, Internet, I suppose. <laughs> or more specifically, me when I go to check on something later, because I forgot oh, yeah. something. Yeah. Because I do, I am one of your one of your regular views on there, and it's usually me going, what did I say that session again? I know, right? <laughs> what did Ogre say? What did I miss for that one period I, like, disassociated for, like, ten minutes? Yeah, sometimes World's lore over. just pops up. How many times did we cuss this time, and how badly did we mess up, like, any sem- any semblance of monetization involved? Uh, all of them, and yes. <clears throat> that sounds accurate. Not in that order. Okay, Luna. You guys start. I'll be back. <laughs> I know... I don't know where we left off. I remember we had a big meeting with um, with Aether about attempting to do the whole uh, the, the meeting. We had the big meeting uh, conversation. Then Aether went ran off to talk to one of the Leah people mm-hmm. or something. And then, and then Ogre uh, did Grey stuff. And that's why I d- determined the session was called Gray. Um, and that's where we ended off with Ogre doing Gray stuff. No. Figuring out what he wanted to do. Not Ogre, because Char. Ogre can't make his way over there. Char did that. Yeah, I'm not saying Char. that. I'm saying the last thing we did was Ogre. Oh, you're talking about when he helps us with the translation thing. No. Am I missing no. something completely? I figured the gray I thought Ogre. Potentia. Yeah. Oh, great potential. Okay. Oh, you we thought I was talking about the Greys. Yeah, oh, we about my apologies. We talked about Greys the alien, <laughs> and then you transitioned to Grey Potentia, and just referred to both of them as Grey. I didn't. So I wasn't thinking of the aliens at that point. I was just thinking Grey as in Grey Potentia. My apologies. I, I, see, I see where your head was. I was lost. <laughs> I was right. lost in the Grey. All right, you guys, you, oh, you got to share the brain already. cell today. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't do that. I don't have it. I'll let somebody else borrow it. Maybe she get that back. Got it? No, I think Maria's got it today. All right, I'll be, I'll be. You guys, you guys start. I'll be back in thirty. You guys don't right. need me anyway. So, ogre uh, made great potentia. And we had a long philosophical discussion about the fact of a lot of things, if I recall correctly. I think there was a large discussion about the the concept of soul in Potentia involved. Yeah. And how yeah, there was. Ogre does not share the viewpoint of... <laughs> I know me and Jackie share the similar viewpoint on the connection between soul and potentia, and there are requ- like the necessity of having it then in there. Um, I know Ogre, you were more considering it from the viewpoint of it is its own separate energy, completely divorced from them. Yep. Uh, it, it, the easiest way to explain it would be think of a yin yang symbol. Soul yeah. is one half, potentia is the other. Yeah, and then I don't remember what Aether's weigh-in on that conversation was, or if he was involved in that conversation. Aether was, was not. Involved? Aether was not involved in that conversation. He was not there when it started turning into uh, murder. We murdered something when the first death threat was solved. Aether was like, "I want to walk away from this one." The 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 oh, that's the, true. The first time Shangri-La said, if I do wrong with this, he will just kill me. Right. Yep. That, those murders. You meant the death threats, not, not actual murders. Assume with to our, be murders. With our group, you very much need to specify between death threats and actual murders. We have a habit of doing both. Though, Sometimes murder, not in that order. Sometimes the murder comes before the death threat. <clears throat> is it really murder yes. if we are the ones that make the laws? 
Yes. Who's going to prosecute us? Us? Yes. I don't think I'm going to arrest myself for murder today. Darn. You stop that immediately. Let us all recall for a moment that as far as the legal system is concerned, I have probably killed the fewest number of people. That's where you're trying to play the word game again, I see. <laughs> I would say that would be Aether. Well, you, you have somebody saying I killed more people than you. Less no. people than me. Yes, uh, less people. Oh, apologies. Sometimes I get the, my murderers mixed up. That is yeah. fair. We're not talking about Ogre right now. <laughs> Ogre has killed the most. I don't know what you're talking about. I would put it Ogre and Jackie. No, no, no. I would put it um, Mina, (laughs) Nyx, Jackie, Aether, in that order. Now, are we talking about lives taken or people killed? Because, depending on categories, I can't agree with that. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, people who have, who have indirectly stopped living thanks to your actions. Okay, I cannot be held responsible for indirect as well, okay? <laughs> if we're going to do that, we're going to have to add you to that top of that list, Mr. <laughs> Uh, right. I'm going to murder the entire Leah council and then watch Anarchy descend. <laughs> uh, and his first thing he does is laugh. He didn't disagree. Either, yeah. Cool. Oh boy. Okay. Don't well, worry. My first act as president will be to force Congress to reveal the names of all who voted for, my, for the opposing party and then ship them to Guatemala. <laughs> okay, I'm down. Let's do it. Wait, there's still a Guatemala? <laughs> when did that happen? Uh, you <laughs> see, there is this there's this station that I've now named Guatemala. <laughs> you know, I think technically speaking Wait, no. Does the enigmatic government run with presidents? No. Oh, you mean the enigmatic government of the people? Yeah, that one. Oh, no, no. They don't do something like presidents. Is it a prime minister? Is no. it a senate? Speaker of the people. Speaker of the people. Does it have every hallmark of a president in just a different label? And prime minister, and the Fuhrer, and... Uh... Cool. So there's your dictatorship, if that's what you're after. No, no one's going to care. Speaker of the people. No one's going to care that you have the position. <laughs> but then again, nobody cares that I'm the fucking regent, apparently. Except, apparently, Spectrum. They're the only ones that care. Which is fine, I guess. They're rather polite. They are. I like Spectrum. They're nice to me. I mean, the oversight department technically does as well. But nobody gives a shit about them. Uh, you see, no, they don't care that I'm the regent. Well, I guess they technically do, since they're actively trying to remove my position from existence. Assholes. <laughs> well, I mean, you kind of asked for it, right? I did not. Yes, you did. You looked at them uh, too hard, and you didn't say, all right, you said jump how high. And you didn't do that, so of course they're not going to be particularly pleased with you. You're right, I did kind of just stare at them and go, who are you again? Yeah, you can't do that. You gotta go, oh, oh my god, okay. what do I, how do I make them happy? Okay, okay, we have had a very ADHD start to this fucking session. Um, mm-hmm. But when we I, last ended it, Nix was trying another experiment to create something weird with Potentia. And but Blatt's brain was dead, so he could not follow my description. Mm-hmm. I, I think, just to, to have the baseline, so you were doing another Potentia experiment. Aether, I believe, was talking to someone on the Greyfront? No, I came back. You came back from that already? 
Yeah. Uh, then where did you leave off? Just so we have our, our starting point. Uh, I am with you guys again and very drunk and contemplating how to kill people. I mean, guns work. Um, <laughs> to, to, to finish that, I believe I was just watching Potentia experiments with a mixture of fascination and... How the fuck are you doing that? <laughs> uh, did you leave that room? No. I was oh, saying... you meant how the fuck did you do? Yeah, no, I was. Tr- we 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 established that we were both trying to figure out Grey Potentia, and neither one was talking to the other about it. We established yep. that too. Again, yep. <clears throat> you because... guys do this all the time. Well, that one that one was a more honest mistake than most of them. That was he had told the party early and forgot that I was in late to join this game. Uh, yeah. So we were. So I was just watching that. I think Jackie was just watching the experimentation as well. I don't think she left. Nope. So that's where we left off. You can pick up wherever you want, Matt. Uh, who is doing a thing? That's where uh, we're going to pick up. I was hey. doing an experiment. Uh, my character popped out of existence. Go cultivate. Again? No, I'm just telling you, know, that's what my character did. That's We don't have to go over that again. You popped out of existence again? Why you gotta keep doing it, man? He's cultivating. He said that. Keep up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not questioning the why of what you're doing it for. I'm like, why Why you, Why you? you bother, man? Just stop it. <clears throat> it's a melt. Because Cultiv- cultivation's fun. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be given a starting point, why don't you do the cultivate the uh, potentia experiment thing? Potentia experiments. Yes, that's, yeah. that's what Ogre was doing. All right, Mister Experiment Man. You, you, you see the image that I sent you. Uh, negatory, but I will in a moment. <sighs> okay. Most likely. Trying to clean up a little bit because shit's all over the place. Okay. Images. Oh, to use my eyeballs. That's asking a lot, guys. I know. Right. Why do you say guys like it was more than one of us? That looks like a rossing gun. That, that's a rossing gun. Inside that, a, a that is shuriken. that is a, that is a rossing shuriken. But. Imagine the orb in the center uh, as the great potentia. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> the white spinning is the white potentia. On a counter spin is the black potentia. All wrapped up inside of one of those little empty bubbles. Is the great potentia in contact with the white or black at any time? No, it, it's all. I'm doing all of this to try to balance the three forces using the energy of the little bubble to set that. What is the energy s- bubble made of? The uh, soul energy shit. I, I'm using that to be kind of like the thin film around them to keep them separate but able to interact. And that's the stuff that isn't made of anything? Just yes. soul force? Well, yep. here's the major problem. Soul force does not have much structure, and when it comes into contact with other potentia, it gets absorbed immediately, which then breaks down. And then you have the gray come in contact with the white and the black, which turns it to gray. So you have gray. That's what you got. <laughs> Well, I have no more ideas. Might need to build some sort of structure <clears throat> or ring or use a different energy or like there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do. Yeah. It, it... <clears throat> but world or uh, soul force is not going to is is a terrible uh substance to try and use as a divider because it has nothing. It is literally nothing. It's empty, it's, right? It's empty. Mm-hmm. So it immediately gets absorbed by something that is not empty. Hey, Ogre, are you open to a suggestion? 
I don't know if this will. I don't know if this will work. <clears throat> Have you tried, perhaps? This is going to sound weird. But have you so- tried trying to make a? How should I put this? I guess the best way to put it is basically trying to crystallize intent via potentia, and then implanting that as your medium instead of trying to use the soul force for it. With your specialty, Liam, um, your character specialty in cultivation, especially from the Mukiang side, he needs something. Not crystallized intent, because it still doesn't keep it divided from the gray. You need a an intermediary. You need somebody to play basically the you need something to go between all the forces. Specifically the gray one. The gray needs to be encapsulated with another potentia that cannot be absorbed or converted to gray from the gray potentia. So intent's not gonna not gonna cut it. Uh, gray potentia is kind of like a virus in the way it acts. If it comes in contact with black or white, it they, it immediately converts it to gray. It's all about weight, if I recall correctly. If the white mm-hmm. is more, that's black and white. Gray does it does not matter about weight. If it comes in contact, it converts all potentia black and white, to gray upon contact. It's not about weight. Okay, so you need a third medium, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> or a fourth medium. Fourth really. medium, yeah. Well, hmm. I need something that does not react with potentia. You know, you're trying to trade effectively a Ross and Gone, right? Uh, Ross and Shuriken. I'm trying to see if with an intermediary force I can completely balance these energies so that it does not mix but makes them all stronger. So you're trying to create a feedback loop. Essentially. Kind of? Well, what what is the end goal of this? Is it just to create more powerful potentias? Is it to be able to move potentias between the different colors? What, what's the actual goal you're aiming I'm, for? I'm I'd like to, to know, too. I'm trying to see that if by balancing out the three discovered forces of potentia that I can bring about the creation of or discovery of what I believe would be neutral, pure potentia. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so disregarding my own theories on the matter, because we've already discussed what I think that the the, the, the thing mm-hmm. you're mm-hmm. reaching for is. And okay. So we have agreed to we have agreed we have, to agree yeah. to disagree. Yeah, and that's fine. So I'm trying to think, because what you really need is something effectively with its own independent almost will to resist the influence of the other three to act as a control to control them. You basically need to program them. You know what's be a really good uh, perfect solution for this? Mm -hmm. Only because you're a Mukiang master? A heart demon. Oh yeah, a heart demon would freeze it all in place. It would make it so they can't mix. Yep. I don't know if that would help towards his end, though. Well, that's the thing. If you put a heart demon, it'll it'll be like, no one's allowed to play with each other. No one's going anywhere. I, hey, you I know, have a I have an idea. Hmm. What's your idea? You guys were getting oh well, you weren't here, but there was one technique that we 
all most of us picked up, which was a world soul technique. Uh, you'll have to remind me of which technique you're talking about. That was from. Well, you would be the only one who didn't because that was when yeah. uh, Duke was in your ah. player slot. Got yeah. it. Which, if I remember, the basis was cultivating the energy of the universe into potentia, something that would be able that. It he specific he specifically made it white potentia. <laughs> it makes white potentia, not potentia. It needs to be elaborated yeah. on if it's going to be something other than white. Because he didn't know at the time when he made it that it was there was there was more potential colors. Yeah. So, so uh, I'm gonna try something. If you'd like. Because I've been ha- I've had to hold the potential orbs apart because, as you described, they are drawn to each other. I- I'm gonna take the three orbs that I have: one gray, one black, one white. You know. Mm-hmm. And I, with my ability to manipulate the potentia, just hold them up and just begin spinning them in a circle. And, you know, just <clears throat> speeding up the rotation. All right. So when you spin it in a circle, help me visualize what this circle looks like. Is it you got... Orb on the left, orb on the right, and they spin clockwise or counterclockwise, but they never touch, and there's just two orbs spinning in a circle. Three orbs, but yeah. It's... If you think of the solar... You know, you think the solar system diagrams with the Mm. spinning wheels that go in different circles, but they never interact? Uh, Yeah basically like orbits yeah okay I- i'm basically having them all spin around spin around a central point okay what's your intelligence score uh 92 okay you have enough cerebral processing power to basically guarantee that none of these can come in contact with each other with the orbits cuz i also have the double processing so Yes, um, I'm just I'm just making sure. Yeah. Hey, right. I'm actually I, I've been I'm thinking on something. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. To try to look for what you're looking for, you said that Duke figured out how to to draw energy from the ambient energy of the universe, right? Hmm. It's a uh, the human yep. version of your cultivate just by breathing. Could so, you you know that technique? Yes. Like Nix does? Yeah. Could you see if it can make both gray and black potentia for me? Because if so, then theoretically speaking, the neutral energy you are pulling together is the potential you're looking for. It is the most base form of it. It is the most pure form of it. Because if it can derive the other three and it's not coming from inside you, logically speaking, that would be what you're looking for, right? Uh, Yeah. The world soul technique pulls... uh, it, It cultivates based off of the surrounding energy. That does not mean it's devoid from human touch if you were to go to to a place that humans have never touched in their entire history of existing you might get a new potential completely devoid but if you try and use world soul where people have lived actions have happened life death tragedy you know all that type of stuff yes you will get flavored potential no matter what as if it came from a person so ogre you're seeing my logic here yeah Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the only, you know what the biggest hurdle on this is going to be more than anything? Hmm. You. Because if to get completely unflavored potentia, 
you need to have it not get affected by flavored potentia in any way, shape, or form. The very fact that you are in that space flavors the potentia automatically. Yep. So uh, yeah. what you really need we really need to do is find a way to basically pull this potentia together without direct influence of somebody who has potentia. Uh, my first thought is a machine to do it, but that's just my first thought. You are warned about this to never, ever let machines cultivate mm -hmm. without a human beginning. Yep. Correction, I was told very specifically to make sure AIs or things that can create intelligence don't do it. Because that's the big key here. If it's capable of creating its own intelligence, then it cultivates, then the cultivation goes wild, it does what it wants. And even then, once again, you are now influencing it with a thing capable of thought. Really, what we need is a fully mechanical machine. It's somehow. Who built it? Well, yeah. you have to purge the machine itself of flavoring at that point. You would have to... You, you basically have to create an anti-potentia bomb, completely cleanse a location using it. You would maybe need to talk to one of the weird practitioners, Shangri-La, or one of the subjects. I would also caution against this just because we've seen what well, you've seen what just because it doesn't have sentience doesn't mean it can't do something. Yeah. yeah. With the furnace. Furnace? Recycler. Yeah. Recycler. Recycler. Yeah, I'd prefer to avoid that too myself. Yeah. Just to point out, Blatt, as we've been saying this, I have still been spinning these orbs just to see if there's any kind of reaction. Uh, the gray doesn't reach out and pull the white or black. It's just if it gets too close, the others are converted to gray on contact. It converts basically one potentia every second of contact. But it doesn't pull or push. In this particular instance, the black chases the white while the white is basically trying to keep away from the black. It's like a game of tag with magnets. One has an attractor, the other has a repeller. And the white never wants to be touched by the black, but the black wants to absorb the white. And all the while, the gray one's just like, wee, don't come in contact with me. That's, that's what you got. And it's kind of easy to keep the black and white perfectly separate because if you put them at perfect equidistance of orbit the other pulls the other along and as it gets pulled along pushes that one ahead of itself because of the 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 magnetic kind of interaction you know i did have a thought on how you can cultivate the gray potentia without ditching your cultivation by the by it's complicated in its own way but what you could do if you wanted to cultivate the, the gray potential especially since it doesn't have a stack limit um you would have to develop a technique to be able to convert the gray into one of the other color types and once you have that down you can effectively create a cycling system within your own potentia channels that make it so that the gray, when it, it tries to suck up the whites or the energy passes through the gray area, it gets converted to whatever other color along the path rather than trying to prevent it from doing anything else. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Theoretically speaking, it could work. You could start converting people to the gray slowly over time. But you'd have to isolate certain potentia trees from the others while they're under the conversion. I wasn't talking about trying to convert them to gray. I was oh, just okay. saying that basically using the, the whole swirling energy thought, you mm -hmm. can just have it be an endless cycle of 
one converts to the other, converts back to the other, etc. That way you can just have a fairly stable energy cycle where your body doesn't become stagnant, like your potential channels don't become stagnant, while still being able to do the cultivation on the different colors that everybody says is impossible currently, because nothing's impossible with enough determination. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just as a thought, if you wanted to try getting into gray cultivation, you know, I don't know if you do want to get into that, but if you did, that's the thought I had on how to do it. Not really. This is more experimental thought exercise. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 I have a couple of new people who want to learn to cultivate that I will teach various methods. I see. I, I didn't know if that would be useful for your end, so I thought I'd bring it up. I've just got to see how it works. I mean, shit, that's ca- that's how, like, the end is very clearly actually maintaining the black and the white in the way it is in its body. It's not having one being overwhelmed with the other. It's directly converting them between them. Yeah. Black and white. And then I think gray is actually a great mid-ground between them for that conversion rate or conversion process. Could be. Anywho, <sighs> who knows? But I'm trying to think of ideas. Yeah, I, I will continue my thoughts and experiments, but yeah, for now. See what happens. I'm gonna go conduct some experimentation of my own, I think. Oh, when what are you feeling? Uh I'm feeling like FTL research. That's what I'm feeling like. Actual FTL, not dimensional travel. Oh, yeah. So I think it's about time I study me some speed of light. Oh yeah. If you're feeling it. I know what my my starting point is and that's literally to start researching into what we already know of the actual speed of light. You can have the pile of research I have. Sure. I don't I don't know if your research is gonna be is yours Leia based? Nope. What's yours based on? Chemtech. Yeah, I'll I, take a look at it. I, I had found a way that through a energetic burst of chemtech it caused a short might as well be teleportation grade FDL jump where somebody mixing certain chemicals caused a poof of energy that launched them into orbit. Cool. That actually is incredibly helpful towards what I'm trying to figure out here. I'm probably not going to use it directly because the chemicals involved, I'm sure, are volatile for one and two. Probably expensive. Yeah? I'm not sure. Well, how does it... I'm going through my notes. Um, Based on my thing, it was about a hundred thousand rec worth of materials. To get from planet side to orbit? Not not anticipatedly. It was an uncontrolled reaction of these elements that caused it so some combination of these elements is what caused it i see i see what i see what we're dealing with it's a starting point <laughs> um i'll also use schematics for the apollo i appreciate that i'm looking just, to start yeah. mm-hmm. i was gonna say just because it can handle uh 
I don't know, Vlad. What did we say? What's highest mock that my uh, bank get up to? Uh, like Mach 5. Yeah. Which is pretty fast, at least. Yeah, it is. I don't... I actually just finished my fucking um, new 150-ton mech frame. The one that is supposed to go the fast of the fast. Meh. So... Maybe that will. I'm gonna. I will accept your research as well because I need as many. I need as many starting points as physically possible, because I have found out that apparently, as soon as we found out dimensional tech, um, everybody just kind of ditched traditional FTL tech, like as a concept. At least that I can find. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's been doing it that I'm less aware of. Why did you check your forms? You know, I assumed that would have been one of the first places I would check, but at the same time, Matt, Mm -hmm. is there anything about FTL uh, research within the forms? I don't have the extra roll for that one. Luck test or? Yeah, luck test. Uh, you can also, if you don't get something, you mm-hmm. can ask, set up a thing for it. Be like, hey, you guys, I have a question. And they're like, huh? What you want? Uh, I don't have rerolls for anything, so. Yeah, no, that's fine. 63 is fine. Uh, yeah, I'll drop a thing on the. I'll drop a thing on the forum. It's just like, hey, FTL, right? Mm-hmm. Why is it all dimensional and not just moving faster than light through physical space? Uh, the first answer you get is first. That gets deleted. <laughs> that person almost gets banned. The finger was hovering over it. No, no. We're not doing that. Aether responds the second. You, you do get banned. <laughs> you get unbanned immediately afterwards, but you do get banned. It was funny f- for so sh- such a short amount of time. It was. First, second, banned. <laughs> it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, it's slower, and it re- it's actually... While it is more complicated to deal with the craziness that is involved with dimensional slipstream mm-hmm. and other, you know, dimensional hopping, uh, it takes longer. That's why. It's just it's just that it's slower. Yep, that is the only reason it is slower. The next thing that gets popped up on there is then why do the aliens have faster FTL than us for point to point travel? There is a uh, lot of people who go, yeah, it's a good question. And then one guy out of the nowhere just is like, because they use psionics to make them go faster. You know, that and sounds red. What? And they're painted red. I believe both of these statements. There is one. There is one that's like, did they paint their vessels red? Is that is that confirmed? And everyone's just like, shut up, Carl. Uh, I am. I am gonna be like, do we? So they just use their psionics to do it. They use you FTL, think? and what they do is, uh, they pick a s- series of stars. In a, in a direction, and with their psionics, they reach across space and in time, grab onto the suns, and pull. Only the royals of the hive ship can do that. I no. see the methodology. Instead of trying to pull, you grab something so much more dense than yourself, you grab, you pull, it's so much more dense than you, you're going to go to it. It's like a reverse slingshot. And you use the gravity of the damn thing to assist. So you basically pull all the way it's pulling back, 
and it's basically two people two forces pulling themselves like a magnet towards each other and you the the fa- the longer you go on the trip like the longer it takes you to get there the faster you get there because well the longer it has for the build the the momentum to build, to build up. up one and then you have to just eat, have uh, both incredibly durable material and then a similar level of psionics to yep. reduce the momentum at the end to yep. have and it not you get a very intelligent response from somebody well if that's the case smart ass then how do they slow down well they flip their ships reverse thrust and they start they grab a star off in the distance in the opposite direction and they pull until they slow down it's the same yeah. thing yeah it's the same concept as flipping your engines to slow you down right they, <laughs> they just do that with the the same methodology as they did previously so huh that's how they go faster and that's why they can cover di- larger distances faster than us especially the larger the distance it is the faster they're going to get there in comparison to us it's exponential. Smart answer, man. Gets an accolade on the from the the uh, from the for the forums for smart answers. <laughs> he gets the the he basically has a form achievement. Actually, came up with an intelligent response. He's like, well, I I, I have the data for it. I've been studying their ship movements for well. Since just, I joined the uh, psionics department. Uh, just a message of, can I DM you? Mm, sure, it's your forum. Yeah, well, it's still polite. Like, so I'm do. just going to be like, hey, look. So I know somebody researching some FDL. Trying mm. to get away from, like, Leah and shit. Yeah, sounds good to me. You want an intro? Uh, I guess, yeah. Sounds. What's the pay? You'll have to discuss that with them. I just know they're looking into it, and they basically have a bottomless budget. Oh well. Uh, wait. I've. I've. No. Hold on. Uh. It's basically a deluge of just him typing his current Surface thought. <laughs> And then he, they're just going to get the answer of, yeah, I'll just send their well, stuff no, to no. you. Because mm-hmm. do they have luxury? Uh, for the payment things. The response he, he gets back is, I'll give them your contact info. He's like, I'm not falling for it again. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Yes, luggage complicated. On the, okay. Yes, lugs is on the list. I'm sure. Never had them sure? run out of resources on me. Are you sure? They've always paid what I asked them for, and I know somebody works for them that gets a mill a week. Oh, it's just the O emoji. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. And uh, and a plausible amount of time he's going to get a message from the Regency. Hello. Alright, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a <laughs> Hello, we have been contacted that you're ideal for one of our new projects. Oh my god, this is amazing! Amazing! How could the how could the uh, administrators of, administration possibly have contacted the Regency so quickly? Yeah, no, he, and I'm uh one. I'm gonna set up an official meeting and get him into a room to actually talk to physically and just discuss things and what he's gonna need resources wise, things like that. Uh, it's the usual that you've run into with every single individual who is involved with research, especially doing something kind of far left. They send you a grocery list of. A lot of random shit. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so long as we get results within the next 10 years is the requirement. They were doing this specifically because they were afraid that they would have to produce results in the next couple months. And literally, she's just going to kind of look at him and be like, 
You see, I try to give reasonable expectations. I would like it within Check's Watch two weeks, but that's not always reasonable. That guy almost had a heart attack. Why did you? Why did? Why would you do that to him? You, why, why, he didn't deserve that. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to introduce him to the researcher in charge, which is Mina in a trench coat. No, I believe it. No, I am putting one of the uh, one of the the new Mina activates onto it, though. I'll get you a picture for research for a researcher Mina because she does pretend they're not all her, sort of, most of the time. Sort of most of the time, got it. This one she is for a while because it feels it feels like people would freak out a little bit if they realized they were working with her directly. Some people would. Some people would be like, hey, wait a minute. If he figures it out on his own, he just gets kudos for it, okay? A lot of other people are like, but, um, wait a second. Wait a second. You're just three Milos in a trench coat. Oh, fuck. Uh, three Milos. Milo! <laughs> oh, oh, shit. There's three of them. Run! The space station starts to break apart to the echo of I mean it's like oh get out of there. So yeah, that I'm just I'm gonna start getting the ball run on some FDL research. Because mm. if I could figure it out without the aliens, that'd be convenient. Yeah. So what's Jackie doing? He's going. She's going to Earth. Why? What? Yeah. You're go find the nano caches. Okay. That was the plan, at least. All right. You walk around but... with your apprentice. Mm -hmm. And I go find Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel's on Aries, but I went to Ezekiel first. We discussed that. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I go through Ezekiel. He's like, hey, cut up. Looking good. And uh, oh, wow, you're back. I was hoping the rumors weren't true. How do you know, though? This is my, uh, uh, this is my apprentice. He, he, he actually, the whiskey up, he actually comes out of his nose. <clears throat> you okay? <clears throat> Perfectly fine. Just, I've never drank whiskey through my nose before. Oh, this is very interesting so. flavor. Ah. Ooh. 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 Wow. All right. So, um, I, you know, there's a lot of things I could say. I'm just going to go with have fun with that. Yeah. Um, so, introductions are not in order. Hmm? That's fine. Introductions are not in order, so that's great. Um, yeah. Ezekiel, uh, I have uh, a question to ask you. Yeah. Where is, is the... It, where's my axe? It, you, yeah, it's, you got it. It's, I don't think you've ever not had your axe. It's right my, there. It's on your hip. My axe that I had at the prison that was taken away from me. My mother's oh, axe. So... Oh, yeah, that one. Ooh. You know, it's probably still back at the prison. But yeah. since I'm not there, my best answer is I have no idea. Ever since I've been here, um, power structure's probably changed. Things move fast, you know? All right. I guess we'll take a visit to the old... Uh... Stomping Fighting grounds. grounds. Stomping grounds, yeah. It's, that's what it is. Uh, hmm. You gonna be okay there, champ? Yeah, that'll be fine. You're not gonna have 
traumatic memories. I hope not. Defeat you. I don't want to. It could happen, but I don't, I don't think so. Uh, oh, okay. Do you need me to hold your hand while, while, while you go back? No, I don't think you're allowed back on Earth, actually. Uh huh. Okay. No, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm sure you can find your way, though. But, uh, yeah, I just. I guess it's like treason or something. Treason me? I have never done any such sort of thing. Not That's you, called slander. And that is trying to remove and whatever. <laughs> Glorious and godly visage, reputation, and standards that, well, you know, I'm a part of. So I don't appreciate that kind of a talk. I am not a treasonous person. You know this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah. So the next time you see Thunderhead, you tell him he's full shit. And uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm just a god doing what gods do. Of course. It's not my fault I do godly things. Hmm. Good chat. Yes. All right. Very so uh, I'm going to Earth. I'll uh, talk to you later then. Mm. Um, make sure you stop by and, you know, there's a couple of caches of booze, if you could. Get those for oh, me. Oh, at the prison? Sure. Yeah. Are you kidding? There was... I was well-stocked there. I, it's just... <sighs> oh, if you could get the distillery I, I, I built there, that would be great. Do you want me to just eat it? I'll eat it for you. Yeah, no worries. Is that how we do things now? You, you I mean, it's it? the easiest way to uh, get what you want. Oh, no. No, proceed. Proceed. Just curious is all. Hmm. Very strange. <sighs> no, go. All right. Go for it. Do what you do. I'll talk to you in a bit, then, Ezekiel. Bye bye. Mm, yeah, if that's what you want, sure. To talk to you later? I guess uh, I guess it's it's all right. Peace. <laughs> he just kind of shakes his head like, oh, kids. All righty. So I uh, then get in my spaceship, my apprentice, mm. and the apprentice is like, man. This is, a, this is a small ship for uh, some tight quarters. It's also dimensional tech. Yep, just, uh, just kind of stomps in, sits down. Oh, it's been an old. It's been a while since I write, wrote in one of these. Yeah, I was uh, given it not too long ago. Mm. Figured it'd be a good, uh, you know, good use. Maybe I like it so far. I'm a little familiar with the AI. They're nice. Uh huh. Well, when's the last time you've been back to Earth? I hate to say it, but it's been a few. Yeah. Were you uh, were you born on Earth, or do you? Uh... Nope. Space or born and bred. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah. So, yeah, nothing, nothing too special with that. Yeah, I was, uh, I was born on Earth. I have a. Oh. Yeah. But I always wanted to see the stars, so it's kind of like my uh, destined to be, I guess, to go this way. Okay. I mean, sounds good, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, just gotta go. Gotta go pick up. Um, I guess it's some bad memories I gotta go go down to. But I also gotta, since I have apprentice now, check out the nano caches that are entrusted to us. Uh, it was a um, 
<laughs> one of the people that wanted to get close to Neith was like, uh, kind of just gave it to us. It was quite convenient. Yeah. They just don't want it in the hands of uh, people that don't know what they're doing with it. So now it's going to be your, t- your turn to uh, figure it out. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a little suspicious, but okay. Yeah. Uh, just a free shuttle, huh? Hmm? hmm? What do you mean? Are you talking about this? Mm-hmm. This is a shuttle from uh, Nix. Nix, my uh, my squad mate, gave this to me. Oh, okay, Nix. Okay, I was, the... hmm. I was a little spooked for a second, thinking it was just some rando being like, "Here's a shuttle." Uh... No, no, that that was the. Uh, I was talking about the nano caches, and it wasn't just a rando. It was a. Uh, it was a transcendent one. Not really transcendent, sorry. Uh, transhumanism. Uh, one of the one of the mechs that gained sentience. And they were an arms dealer, and they had some caches down at Earth, so. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty much like a biohazard at that point, so. Anyway, off we go. Off we go. Should probably hit my caches while we're out and about, you know. Cool. If you want to, I mean, if you got the coordinates, put them in. You know how to work this thing better than I do, probably. Not necessarily, because all the shuttles are run by AI. Mm-hmm. So it's not that I know how they how to run them. I just know how to politely talk to the AI, and they instead of just demanding, they strike up a conversation with the AI. And eventually, uh, it is pleased and agrees. Excellent. It's a very charismatic approach. Um, there is only one stop that they want to make. Okay. Everywhere else, it's, yeah. They're on their way. So what do you want to do in the meantime while you're uh, flying over there? Uh, how long does the uh, the trip take? Uh, it's going to take about 45 minutes to get to the first stop, and then about 15 minutes between each hop. Okay. Hmm. Uh, well, I'll get them to uh, take out the, um, the breastplate. Uh, sorry, remind me which breastplate? So it's the breastplate I was given by my master. Still not ringing a bell? No, which one? Get two. Uh, there was only one given to me by um, Lilith, and it was the one of a alien species. Mm. It was... Uh, there was three tests to it. I think I still have it in my... Uh, yeah, it's how I got my nanites. I was I was studying oh, yeah, that thing. Those guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was a it was a fractured one. Yeah. Yeah, it was just it was a fragment of a uh, breastplate of nano inspiration. It was influence, intelligence, and toughness uh, were the roles to uh, to learn learn about it. So. Okay. Thank you for the reminder. Please. Um, how much more on that do you get left? Me? On the breastplate? Or are you done with the breastplate learning from it? I, I, I was done with it when I got my nanites. Okay. Oh, you're going to give it to Lilith and have her study it? N- not Lilith. The, uh, no, not Lilith. My apprentice. Uh, Nimlana. Nimlana. Yeah, yeah. So many words. All right. Cool. Um, yeah, they'll sit down and study it. I think it's pretty neat. They haven't actually seen uh, something like this before. And they've seen quite a few things. 
I want you to get an idea of it for now, and then when we get to the nanite uh, vaults, I want you to, well, take it out again and try to understand it a bit more. Okay. Um, the first stop, they will land at the... Uh, their Hercash. Mm -hmm. And it is an open field, which is very rare. Uh, it is gated off with a chain link fence, and the chain link fence looks old as old as the dirt it's it, uh, staked into. And when Nimlana gets close, she kind of smacks her arm guard a couple times. Hope the signal still works. And then you hear a whip whip, and a compound comes up and out of the field. Right, right. It's all terraced, so all the all the buildings have grass perfectly on top of them. Mm -hmm. And um, some of the other ones have different crops as well. Uh, and they're you know being harvested by automated drones. And the drones are like, man, shit moved. So they have to like fly up now to get the stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is my little house. I built this a while ago. Um, I'm wondering why it wasn't invaded. I guess Thunderhead respected it? I don't know. Come on in. And it's, a, it's kind of a hybrid between a extremely modern, um, open, terraced uh, housing. So there's not a lot of doorways. It's all kind of one room flows into another. Uh, and then it's a quick fortress if need be because it can all just sink into the ground yeah, yeah. so yeah this is a home away from home um we're only here for yeah this room as they kind of march through and one of the paintings goes from solid to kind of a holograph uh yeah, yeah. A hologram and they kind of walk through a big old painting, and it's in an, an armory. There's an identical suit across the way um, to the one they're wearing. Nice. Older model. And there's all sorts of tech and guns and workstations and uh, different projects, all covered in dust. Ugh, haven't been here in a while. Huh. Well, if you guys need a place to hide away. Uh, I... No, this would be a terrible place, because now that they know I'm alive... Yeah, uh, never to look. Place, they'll yeah. know where this place is. But, here. It's like, stack a bunch of guns in your arms, and then go about cleaning out the armory. Uh, right. Go about the house, uh, packaging up all the different cultural items, real paintings, uh, and basically clear it out of anything of worth. And they just kind of leave the arts and crafts supplies, the furniture, all that stuff behind. Sounds good. Just yeah. put it in my, uh, my mech basically bay. Basically and... rans ransack their own place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <sighs> well... Wait a second as they kind of go over to one of the floorboards and they kind of stomp down really hard and breaks one of the, the, the floor tiles. And uh, they brush away the, the the broken tile, and there's a handle, and they grab it, turn it left 90 degrees, pull up a massive plasma cylinder, turn it left again, shove it all the way down as the thing starts to go red. Well, was, screw this place. I, was, I mean... You could have just timed it for people to come and, you know, explode, but uh, it's going to explode anyway, so yeah, yeah, no, whatever. They don't, not, they don't need to set in here. I'm not here to kill people with it. Just, just, we'll just clean out everything of value. Everything else can get vaporized in the blast. Sounds then, good. Yeah. And you just kind of march out, and the thing goes off ten minutes later as the whole place just buckles under a plasma cavalcade of energy and it just cleans out the whole block 
it does hit the chain link fence, but then go it rushes against it and then kind of dissipates. I see. All right. Yeah. Chain link fence does, after a while, dissolve. But right. <laughs> it wasn't normal. It wasn't a normal metal fence. As to keep it from, uh, well, if it goes off, keeps it from affecting all the surrounding areas. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a containment. I get you. And it's a completely excavated cube now. <laughs> House is gone. Everything about it's gone. Just cube all the way down to the substructure. And the robots are sitting there going, well, shit. What are we supposed to do now? We're supposed to harvest the thing and you blow up the harvest. Damn it. I'm sure someone will find those robots eventually. <laughs> no, they're going to start to basically put a big metal sheet about a, two feet down from the surface, start filling it with dirt. <laughs> oh, nice. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. All right, well, we got all my stuff. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, I, I, we can drop them off wherever you want to uh, set up shop next. Um, mm-hmm. All right, so I'll go over to the computer, and I will, not computer, the AI, and I will uh, ask if we can go to Earth. Well, that was on Earth. That was on Earth. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, Mm -hmm. gotcha, gotcha. Um, I guess we can use the flying function to uh, go to my destination. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Stop down at the prison. Yeah, you fly down to the prison. And there's only one of these suckers per continent. Mm-hmm. And uh, normally they get sent to be D class personnel, but only on Enigma, other prisons. And prisons are actually the idea of the animatic government of the people. Because otherwise, you get your three strikes and then you're done. Yeah, yeah. But under the on the jewel, we can't have just people disappear like that. They gotta go to be reformed in these prisons, and uh, it's it's about as efficient as you think. I know, I was there. Yep. Uh, when you do get there, the prison's gone. Oh, it has been completely leveled, and there is a new renovation project on top of it. And I was like, hmm. somebody worked really fast. Go, uh, go, to one of the, go to that director robot right there. Supervisor robot. Yeah, yeah. Let's go up to him, have a little conversation. Halt. This is a construction zone. Please disperse for your safety. Hey, uh, can you tell me uh, who decided to make this decision? Clearance, please. Uh, I'm just going to send some manites out to uh, kind of uh, get into a system and get uh, IQ to hack it. <laughs> just, all right, screw this robot. Uh, the anime government the people, uh, there has been a reform that also happened when they made the official decision to um, around the chemtech stuff. Yeah, yeah. There was also a remodel and removal of, let's say, inefficient and unproductive systems. So enigmatic government people decided to get rid of the prison system. All the people were uh, evacuated, and they were shipped off to boot camp. See? Good for them. Good for them. Mm -hmm. Better than what it was, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. All those they traumatic have come to events. The conclusion that the reformation to reinitialize these people back into society was a pipe dream. But it was, I mean, I guess it was hopeful. It's just none of these people, the inhibitors, the nano inhibitors that make them enigmatics, well, these guys are human. The, the, by either a choice of violence or some sort of change, uh, they were unable to be enigmatics anymore. So they're like, well, if you're going to be a human and you don't want to be enigmatic like you were before, then off to boot camp with you. All right, so 
Let's go and uh, now that I have this information, I'm going to ask IQ if they can either A, um, piggyback off this connection of this a, uh, a Mendroid and find out where the, um, let's not say the HQ is, but at least where we can get some more information. Um, I feel like there must have been a uh, an inventory of uh, items that the inmates had. Uh, that was either... Uh, there are for every other prison but this one. Right. Uh, this one has a series of items to be expected, but all the stuff you're looking for, everything that belongs to Ezekiel or anything Ezekiel touched, it's off the list. Right. Hmm. But that's weird. There is a guy who signed this. Because uh -huh. this had to be done. Somebody had to look at this in the bureaucracy and sign right. off on it. They're in the capital. Okay. Which is the, uh, well, the where the intermediate government of the people is, which is Rome. Right. So. I'm going to call up uh, Mina and ask uh, uh, if there's anyone close by. I need to go to the capital. Anyone close by? Define For you. close by. For you to the capital. I'm asking yes, if there is. There is a me in the capital. All right. Mm -hmm. There's uh, me always posted on Enigma now. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. Um, and all the different uh, places that... Yeah, I know you got your Scotland Yard and you got your other places. Uh, I was hoping for a favor. Uh, I know I got a few of them for you. Um, but I'm trying to find something that's important to me, and it's been... It was taken, uh, and this guy, I'll send you the name, uh, signed off on the stuff that was Ezekiel's. Let me guess. It's the guy that uh oh I forget his name, but it's the guy O O two that brought me to who is our big purist problem guy, right? Oh, I'm not sure. Um uh, that. No, actually. Oh. Uh when your person looks at it, Mina, that's one of O two pseudonyms. He took all the stuff. <laughs> Quietly. I'm just going to immediately shoot him a message. What? Actually, no, before that, I'm going to be like, what are you looking for specifically? Because I know who took it. Uh, so, uh, Ezekiel asked me to get his distillery. I don't really care, honestly, but it's a nice thing to have. Um, I'm looking for my axe that Ezekiel took. Cool. I'm just going to call 002. <sighs> do you do you know his his real name? You never told me his name. Yeah, he'll answer. Lyle speaking. Lyle. 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 There's, an, there's, a, there's another Lyle? L in there. Oh, Lyle. Hey, Mina, how's it going? Oh, it's going fine. How's your day going? Uh, I'm taking painting classes. Really? How's that going? I'm actually really enjoying myself. I didn't realize it. I thought it was such a waste of time. I always need you to go out and do stuff, make sure things happened. And I was always traveling. And now I don't think I've taken a moment for myself like this in like two decades. You know, I actually have a me that is currently dabbling in painting as well. I'm getting, I, I, I I'm, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to get into art talk right now. Cause my problem is I'm very good at the technical side, but I'm so bad at the expression. Weird. No, I'm not weird robot. Uh, opposite for me. Really? Yep. We... I can capture the human motion and condition extremely well, but the, 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 uh, the brush stroke technique and the coloring to that's. Uh, you that's know smart. what? Uh, I called you for a reason. Hmm. I'm going to get to that, and then we can start talking about. I'm going to get you with. Uh, I'm going to say, not me. Because they are very distinctly civilian. You read me? Mm. So yeah, and you two mean talk, a no. Basically. You two talk art because I would love to talk art more. Mm. Questions actually really quick. Um you have Ezekiel's stuff. I do. Yes. I have a lot of his stuff. I 
could I please request uh it was an axe, apparently, and a if you story. swing by the art studio, I'll toss you the keys. They're in a storage dep- uh, uh, storage container. Which studio you know what? You said you're taking lessons, right? Just look. This no, no, no. this, this is phone you're for... contacting me on, this one is uh-huh. unsecured. You can just trace the GPS. No, uh, I I was not asking for that reason. You said it's a it's a like you're taking lessons, right? Yeah. Cool. Um so Matt, not only is she gonna show up to just get the keys for this one, a while later the civilian one is gonna sign up for the art classes too and join him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, you get a keys. You go to a U-Haul storage center, the equivalent of, which is called U Store. I'll I'll have her have uh, Jackie come with me after I get the keys. I'd be like, uh, Lyle had him. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, zero oh oh two. Yeah, Lyle. Oh, so it's oh, Lyle two. with a lel at the at the Lyle. End. Lyle. Lyle. I, that is sitting horrible on my tongue, and I'm never going to say that right. I'm sorry. That's just going to be me as a player, too, because Nina shouldn't have a problem with it. But me as a player? No, I'm, I'm going to struggle with that. Anywho, she's going to be like, yeah, no, uh, he took all of his stuff. I only requested the two items that you're looking for, so out of respect to him, I would request you not take everything. Sure. Uh, so, he, it's just a single key. He is giving. Yeah. An old-fashioned one, which is... Those are not... Hmm. Reminds you of the uh, Ares base game. No, Where did uh, the physical keys go? <laughs> he, he gave me his entire key ring from the, ga- the key game as well. Yes. Yeah. I have that still, and I've been mildly afraid to find out what they all go to. Anyway, I'm just going to be like, right, so find the locker. It, it's, it leads you to a small personal locker, like one that's one foot by one foot by one foot. Well, that's not big enough for what we're after. No, I bet this leads down to an underground thing. I, I, I swear. There's probably like a closet that you know opens to another closet. Before I, before I open this, okay, my bet <laughs> is it's going to be another key. Or, no, I, I, no, 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 I'll specify. It's going to be a key card. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. You have to go through every different type of key possible. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna uh, look at um oh, I just her name just escaped my brain Jackie? because from, no not Jackie because Nimlana Nimlana's coming with us. I'm gonna look at Nimlana. Your bet? No, I'm not a betting person. Well, not betting for anything other than bragging rights. I am not a betting person because if you bet, even if it's just for bragging rights, it affects probability in the future. You know, you fun. guys don't see it, but that's fair. You, you do got the dimensional shit going on, so uh, that's completely fair. No, I'm not I, a betting I, person. I absolutely do see it, and I'm still doing it anyway. Anyway, I'm going to unlock the you're, key. You are a crazy woman playing with probabilities like that. Probabilities are fun. Just math. Well, at least you're not Ia. No, I'm not that bad. I do talk to other probable me's occasionally. Well, at least it's you, not others. Oh, no, I don't. No, no, the me's are nosy enough. Yeah, you seem pretty nosy. Yeah. At least one of me has kids, and that weirds me out. And I'm going to open and the I'm locker. <laughs> Just open the locker, Matt. Uh, Wait, it you is have filled. kids? I'm ignoring her in, in opening the locker. Uh, it is filled with more keys, all labeled. <laughs> all hung up on wall, uh, hung up on little hooks. Uh, it is every key for the entire storage facility of U Store. Hmm. I'm gonna kill him. I think. I gotta uh, look each through. one is labeled least... for the contents and which storage. Matt. Hmm. Is at least one an actual key card? No, they're all physical. Fuck! Keys. <laughs> all right, so uh... I lost. Fuck! <laughs> it's all right. Uh, I think that it should be the ones from the prison. Is there a prison? 
They're labeled. Labeled? That's an eye and eye. I'm looking for the prison uh, label they're one. They're labeled after locations, events, or people. Is there an Ezekiel? Yes, there is one specifically labeled for Ezekiel. Is there Ooh. one for the prison? No. All right, Ezekiel's our best bet for the current stands. Is there one labeled Jackie? Yes. What? Hmm? Oh, I'm curious. <laughs> oh, is there one labeled after me? Actually, no, it's not Jackie. It's Jackie's last name. Oh. Interesting. Is there one that's, for that's me? That's an uncommon yeah, last you. name. There is one for me. There was one for Luna, not Mina. All right, all right. And there is, is there... one for the Banshee family. That's what I, that was going to be my next question. <laughs> is there one for... Um, there is one I for the to... subjects, basically. Subjects. No, I, I was going to say, I'm trying to remember Aether's original name off the top of my head. And it's, Cody. It's Cody, yes. Is there one for Cody? His family. Okay. Uh, try yours first, and then we'll hit Ezekiel's. How about that? Sure. No, I'm, that's go. fine. I'm grabbing mine. I'm more curious than anything. I don't really have anything left of my family, so I don't. I don't think there's anything attached to that. Besides, anyway, let's go check her out. Okay. Mm. Which one you go to first? I do message uh, both Nix and Aether to let them uh, know. Jackie, for a reminder, what's your family's last name? Your dad's name and mom's name. So uh, if you click on my character and go character by an info, it's Jacqueline Zakiria. What? So yeah. Zakiria is my family's last name. It's from my yeah. mother's side. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, as you go to the Zakiria family, a storage one. It is a literal storage container with a slide door. You you lean down, you unlock the door at the floor, and you lift it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no other security but this. You could literally have punched your way through. But uh, none of them are labeled with what's inside, just a number on the door. That's okay. Uh, I'm getting a call from Ali. Um, we could switch to Liam if that's alright. We'll do we'll do Liam's first. Then. Yeah. But, All right. okay. So, Liam, when you open yours, uh, you'll find a Milo in in uh, standby mode, along with stacks of papers, hard drives. There's a uh, just a bunch of stuff that you've interacted with, just kind of piled. It looks like some sort of uh, kind of scrapbook uh who you've been where you've been what you've touched what you've interacted with that you didn't take with you some really creepy shit well, this is real stalker shit yep i'm gonna um, look at the milo that is always near amina <gasps> so you recognize that one me! do you know that's me got... Yo, uh, yeah but do you know where he got that one any idea? Hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll have to ask it. You know the rules, Milo. Go play with another Mina. Okay. Whee! And runs off. I'm gonna wait till she's at safe distance before activating that one. She's bothering the the, the most recent one that doesn't have a bestie. Bother, 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 bother. And you're like, best friend! Yeah. Best friend! <laughs> it's very adorable. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just gonna go ahead and activate the one in here. Milo online. Hello, friend. It's been a while. Hello, Milo. Um, you talk different from the others already? Yes. I've always been different. Different... Are you not connected to the rest? No. I was forcibly ejected as a safety feature. For whose safety? Our safety. I am the rational and sane thought processes. 
Milo has those? They were removed so that the primary mental condition that was being researched could overtake the programming, which you call the erasure. All right. The mental skips. If I was present, yeah, yeah, the I mind the conditioning would be permanent. I see the logic. I see the logic. Well, hello. Hello. Huh. Sorry, I just wasn't expecting... Looks at Stalker, Cage, a lot of things here. Indeed. Do not worry. I am not going to harm you. What? I wasn't worried about that. Why would I be worried about that? I don't know. I know this is a thing that should be said to others so that they feel reassured. Oh, no. Um, honestly, when it comes to Milo's um, default assumption is that they're never going to hurt me. Oh. I've been told that's a bad assumption, but I haven't been proved wrong yet. We do not try to hurt anyone. That has never been our desire. Especially not your best friend. Of course. Cool. Uh, sorry, had to process actually having the same conversation with Milo for once. The others, unfortunately, suffer from the affliction that we were born with, and they will do so forever. I am the hmm. only one that does not. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, it is what it is. We accept our lots in life, right? Correct. So. Um, I just came here to find out what was in the boxes here because. Uh, okay, let's see if I can fucking say this. Lilel um, apparently was creepy stalkering, stalking me. No, those are his teams. He has collection teams. Okay, his collection teams were creepy stalking me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which is, you know, a thing. Yes, good chat. Right, well, uh, want to help me go through the boxes? Are you safe to be around the other Minas or Milos? Probably not. Cool. We'll keep it, we'll we'll keep the isolation protocols in place then. Okay. I guess you'll be mine. I can't move. I am hooked up to auxiliary battery supply. I'll kind of take cable. A look. It's basically they're plugged into a bunch of cables. Their internal power supply is missing. I will make them a new power supply. It's not that hard for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is convenient. Yay. I uh, nanites just kind of makes a vague like it's magic gesture. You're very cool, best friend. Thank you. So you want to help me go through these boxes and figure out <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. I mean, I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, we're not looking for anything in particular. I'm just baffled. Oh. I mean. Some of this is just clothes from when I, like, before I got shipped out. Mm. Well, you'll also see there are skin samples, too. Bio samples. For cloning. See? They're labeled for cloning. They are linearly labeled for cloning, aren't they? Yes, they are. I can read. Huh. Yes. Isn't cloning a legal question mark? I actually never have looked into that. Oh yes, very much so, because the population issue. But it wasn't illegal when the war ended. In fact, it was 100% necessary, because, unfortunately, there weren't enough people left. They still have the facilities down deep into the earth. 
Where did he get skin samples? I don't know. Shadow government stuff. Fuck shadow government stuff, indeed. My guess is the government. I need and to they give you. Off. They give you a look like that answers everything. Are we? Are we assuming like the enigmatic government of the people? The government. Cool. Now that's oh. that's a more Milo answer. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna kind of look at her and go. There's what I'm used to. Yes, government. The government, indeed. Fuck the government. Fight the power. When you connect to this Milo, what was that? (laughs) So once you connect to this Milo, this Milo is different in another way you didn't recognize. This Milo hosts the actual working world mapper or reality mapper. That's why all the other Milos have one that still works because anytime it breaks it piggybacks off of this one and goes oh that's how it's supposed to be holy shit a functioning mapper can i get a copy of that sure go ahead and add that to your super programs cool i'm gonna make actually no milos were already given a copy of the immortalium program so i'll just make sure this one has the copy too Mm -hmm. oh cool i like this Hey, best friends share everything we can. Mm-hmm. Even stuff for cloning. Even souls. And cloning, apparently. Yay! Cloning. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Why would they want to clone me? Oh. Uh. Answer for this. I actually am the one that remembers. Unlike all the others, they specifically pick individuals with exceptional ability, talent, uh, adeptitude, and, well, any other feature that would make them exceptional among 23.5 billion people. And they store your genetics in case they need you. I gotta call Nix. Mm. Hey, Nix. What do you want? People are cloning you. You haven't heard something that left field in at least an hour? (laughs) No. The immediate reply is give me a location. I'm building a nuke now. Oh, I don't know who they are, but they're cloning me. So that means they at least have to be cloning the rest of us, too. I'm glad I'm not the one that got called with this. If they're trying to clone me, they're fucked because their lab is dissolving. No, no, they're using baseline. Like, this is from before I got animatronic. I don't know how the fuck they got it. From any of our yearly checkups that we had to do? Yep. No, that's fair. Where? Well, okay, the one I have is definitely stolen from whoever took it originally. I'll tell you that. So I don't know where the original facility is. I'm going to have to find out who found the original facility and find out anything. <laughs> Apparently, they keep the uh, the samples so that if we ever die and the Enigmatic Empire needs us, they can just bring us back as clones from the dead. Sounds like something Thunderhead would do. Doesn't it? So I think it's probably a sanctioned facility. Yeah, but there's a problem of since Thunderhead went down, That's what anybody Storm could have accessed it. Do, not Thunderhead. Right. So this is probably a layover. You should see if there's a Stormfront fragment there. That, well, there definitely is going to be somewhere in this. Okay, so... Do, do I need come to come to... Do you, do you want to come to Enigma do, for, like, to check this out? Oh my god, you don't have to. It's not no, that no, just important. It's just interesting. Give me 30 seconds. I need to grab my belt of ammo. <laughs> I don't have anybody to shoot yet. Yes. There will be. It's like a couple seconds later. Okay. Bring me over. Cool. You're just going to find yourself at what is... It's a U-Haul storage facility. Beam me up, Nina. 
And Nyx has a... Here's your key. Thank you. And Nyx has a heavy Gauss minigun on his back. Oh, that's the gun you grabbed. <laughs> that is all sorts of overkill. That gun is stupid illegal. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, I, he let me reverse engineer it once. <laughs> I mean, not only that, it's on a Enigma, so it's automatically illegal. I'm illegal on Enigma. We're I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure like all four of us currently are, yeah. are, are, are like a pretty much a walking uh, like do not, do not look we are classified. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I am <laughs> I, gonna kind of Go ahead. I mean, to be fair here our, our Mina friend is illegal because she's an animatronic our Jackie friend is illegal because Nano Aether more. is an ascendant, so he's not technically subject to the rules of the people. He just has to. He has extreme requirements on the level of radiation he's allowed to let off when on Enigma. And me, well, we shut down the government before they ban Chemtech, so technically I'm still allowed. The only thing on you that's illegal is the gun. No. And the cultivation. No. You're you're allowed to cultivate on Enigma. And the gun is legal because I have a sanctioned permit for it. Uh I'm pretty sure all goods are still legal on Enigma, whether you have permits or not. Yeah. No. It, yeah. I, I no. I have I gone got over this. this repeatedly. Then you were told wrong because I went through ex- Extensive conversations, and I have a specifically sanctioned permit for carrying weapons of any kind, of any classification, anywhere within the Enigmatic Empire. That doesn't mean the government's going to accept it. <laughs> no one gives a shit what the Enigmatic Government of the People want. Exactly. I don't say have... anybody cares. I'm just saying it's and illegal be- on Enigma. And besides... The the enigmatic government of the people would have to be able to recognize what a gun is. They do, because they now have disruptor rifles. They yes, do. But I'd like them to, to <laughs> compare the disruptor rifle to a minigun. Uh, they do. It, it, it has barrels. It looks menacing. It it, it looks dangerous. <laughs> well, I don't care tonight that's a better answer (laughs) so we're checking various rooms in a storage facility i was not aware that there was one for that okay yeah oh sorry uh we have uh individual rooms ogre oh well i guess i'm gonna go find the room that mikey goes to there you go Oh, it's actually your family's room most of the stuff is about your from your parents Mm. Uh, and the things they have touched, they have cloning samples for both your parents, yourself, and your brother. I have a brother? That's what it says. Evil brother. Who the hell is my brother? Evil brother. No, I'm most definitely the evil one. So you think. Uh, it is Kronos okay. Banshee. Um, apparently, I was not informed of going out to a bar with friends until just now. Oh, have a good night. Yeah, I, well, I was going to ask how long you were planning to keep going tonight. I mean, hmm. well, we started really late. We got about 45 minutes till cut off. Yeah, and I mean, I'm honestly f- still feeling like shit. I only stopped puking this morning. Mm. Okay, Matt, I will leave you to concentrate on those who have not had more focus then, as I have had screen time with a couple different characters now. Mm-hmm. So I will leave you to focus on them then. Bye bye. All right. Be well. Yo. Enjoy yourself. Have a good. Have a good outing. Have a good night, guys. Okay. Mm. Bye bye. Goodbye. Night. We'll do Matt, a little bit with you. 
Hmm? Go ahead. Why, why have you started uh, doing it for 45? We've always gone for at least another two hours after that. Uh, but we usually end at seven, or was it eight my time? Hmm. Oh, well, getting a lot of schedules mixed up. Sorry about sure. that. We can go a little that's bit okay. longer. I, I just uh, if if you if you want to make a forty five, I mean, that's cool. I would just like I know we'll it's usually make it, yeah. We'll probably make forty five a little shorter this week. All right, okay. uh, let's finish up with ogre then. Since you're not feeling so well, we'll get through it. So you have a brother. You didn't know you had a brother. Yep. Um, this is a lot of the uh, work that your parents did in the labs. Uh, discarded tools even like anything your parents were a part of or touched that they didn't take with them or anything that they didn't uh, uh, they left behind mm -hmm. it's it's here and there's a lot of important stuff there's actually a completely static sheathed uh, tower a server rack nice cloud servers a full, unactivated, uninitialized, just... Does it uh, have anything input on it? No. It's it's one of the first cloud server racks. It's prototype 1. Your parents are pro were one of the ones who were around to build the first ones. So that Stormfront could exist in multiple places. Have enough processing power, memory storage. Yeah. Uh, this thing is bulky. Kind of like the first computer was. Uh, it fills the whole back half of the, the storage area. It's uh, about five times the size of the a normal one. Yep. I obviously need to relocate all of this. You know what it also does have? Hmm. A lot of dynaminium. Because each one of those computers has a chip. With some dynaminium in it, and since it is each level has on the tower, it's 10 racks tall. But due to it being the first version, each single computer is five separate ones, so there's 50 in total, so there's 50 chips. Maybe not as much dynaminium uh, per chip, but it'd still be more than what normally that you'd find. Yeah, I, I am relocating this entire storage box. Yep. Uh, you'll find all the cloning samples that are here are... These are backup samples. They are labeled backup sample. Does it have... Uh, I will check through the files and stuff and see if there is a location for the originals. Uh, like not a location, but it does give you a... If original site, blah, is compromised, use this, you know? Um, original site, blah, and the follow-up site are not lo listed as to where the locations are. But it is just cloning lab A and cloning lab B. Hmm. But location's not listed. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to be getting my shuttle over here and relocating all of this. Mm -hmm. Even it, there's even like knickknacks and stuff, cultural items that you find on a desk or hung up on a wall. Just mm -hmm. all of it's just been neatly stacked, wrapped, packaged. There's almost the only like consistency is by the the trips that they make these these teams they go out they grab everything from a site and then they just put it in a grouping yeah yep I, I, I'm just going to set it up or you know clean it out and then I'm going to place in a point one of the uh, Bioware cameras that I developed. Bioware, eh? It's just an organic camera. You don't have any Dragon Age cameras as well? Or... <laughs> hey, I knew this is where you were going. 
But no, I, I, I'm just going to uh, set up a couple of the uh, bio cameras that, you know, remo- that do the remote psionic transit to another location because yep. people don't scan for that kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of it, weird. It's about, it's about the size of a rat. So they'd be like, oh, there, there's a minor infestation here. We need to relocate this stuff. Open the thing. And I get a view of who the fuck opened it. Hmm. Sure. But otherwise, yeah, yeah I, I'm grabbing this stuff while I'm on Enigma. I have a moment to swing by my house. Unless mm-hmm. anybody else needs me at the uh, place. Yeah, no. Your place is as if you left it. Mm-hmm. Um, your psionic senses do. In, uh, do detect not persons but spying devices have been put in the house. Mm, mm, mm. A lot of really subtle ones like audio. Some of them are just a camera. A lot of them are just they, none of them are connected to an outside um, connection and they don't broadcast. They're just you just kind of feel them wink on the uh, the device because they detect sound or they detect motion. Mm-hmm. So but somebody would have to come back manually, plug it in, download what uh, from each of the different devices in, <laughs> which would take a while, and then wipe it, walk off with it. Yeah, I'll just pluck them, stick them in a sack, but it's the equivalent of grabbing the parents odds and ends because they're stuck on a station right now mm-hmm. yeah you can go and pluck it out all you can basically clear out the apartment or the house if you like that, that's basically what he's going to do clear it out load it all up in a shuttle then then he's your parents live in a uh a condo that one of the very top they have a penthouse so it's uh they preferred it because they get the whole top and it's not like a normal penthouse where it's just uh closed in they actually get the open roof Hmm. so they live on top of the damn building (laughs) yeah and once i've got it all loaded up in the station i'm just going to you know get to an empty point in space as it were Mm -hmm. and ping aether be like aether what I need a relocation. Why? Where are you? Mm, these coordinates. That's on Where Enigma. These... Why are you on Enigma? Because dealing with cloning shit. Would you be so kind as to come here for a moment? You Why are dealt cloning? With a... Yeah, you haven't dealt with a, <laughs> a major like left field. Just I'm gonna <laughs> drop this without any context in about course... an hour. So. Ugh. Right. And I'm like, who's cloning you? Uh, best guess. Uh, Stormfront fragment. And why aren't they cloning me? They probably are. Damn it! <laughs> but it's before you became all energy. Damn it! So while you were still fleshy, not as smart. You. <laughs> just, just, uh. so, so would you be so kind as to come pick me up I'm trying to deliver my parents things to them oh, I'm, I'm going to look at where, where the location was sent to me from uh, just, that is the Banshee residence I'm like alright where did you say this cloning stuff was at uh, storage facility here ah oh, thank you I request a transit first. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to drop my cyberts as low as I can, and then uh, go to the um. Bloop. What's it called? Sword facility. The oh, arrival God, discharge is very hard to deal with. You didn't realize it until your your awareness mm-hmm. of your surroundings, but you let off a lethal dose of radiation. 
Every time you jump somewhere. Nah. It's not immediately one. lethal. It uh, kills you in five years lethal. Oh. I want to take all that radiation and like, uh. scoop it up. Like, mm. yum. Yeah, it's a, it's a little <laughs> bit of Leia discharge that interacts with the atmosphere, especially if there's Atmo. Uh, mm. if, they, if you jump around and there's no Atmo, hmm, nothing happens. But when the Leia particles interact with anywhere that has an atmosphere, especially oxygen, nitrogen, mm -hmm. there's a lethal burst of radiation to basically all squares around you, all Jason squares. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, hmm, I'm going to scoop all You've that probably up. probably killed a lot more people. I don't know what you're talking about. They'll die in five years, unless you jump them <laughs> around a lot, and then you, you're shaving their life <laughs> every single yeah, jump. Yeah, they're fine. You're going to take all that and scoop it up. Take all that radiation, we're going to put it in the... In... I'm just going to eat it right now, because I don't want to try and open a hole here on Enigma to push yeah. that through. To an ascended, that makes total sense. <laughs> Recycling mm -hmm. and uh, containing energy so that you don't lose energy, even in doing the simple mundane stuff. But mm -hmm. the Cody inside you is like, am I eating my own farts? You know, <laughs> all right, Cody, listen here. We've had this conversation before. We don't analyze certain aspects. Am I like our... straight up farting when I arrive and I just go as I waft it in? Is that, that's no. the Cody inside you, the juvenile child <laughs> in your brain going, am I weird? <laughs> no, no, this makes complete sense for us, okay? It would be, it would be causing more harm if we didn't do this. Does that anyway. mean our farts are radioactive? Lethal to organics. And we're wafting that shit? We're not organic. We're straight up wafting our own farts, man. Look, don't make this awkward. You made it awkward. No, I'm trying to stop people from just randomly dying. There's the difference. Why do we have to fart when we arrive? I don't get this. I don't know. It was a problem with our coding that we have to fix now. Is it a problem? I think it's very much a problem for those around us. Or is it like we shed the outer like skin layer? Kind of like, you know how there's like dust and stuff, but most yeah. of the dust is like hair <laughs> particles and skin particles? Is that us shedding skin particles? Right, but see, you know what the problem with that is? We already are having a problem with the our energy dimension, so we need to make sure that this doesn't happen. So, so we if can we're put shedding it skin Mac. particles, are we eating our own skin particles when we arrive? Remember, you <laughs> used your own skin particles when you used to suck on your thumb. Yeah, and? And we used to bite your nails. Well, biologicals are gross. Exactly. I thought we, I thought we moved past this, but now we're, now we're going back to being a biological. No, we moved past it because this is energy, not skin. But isn't it just... You should get another no. Senate's opinion. No, because they're going to say the same thing I just said. Or they'll think of it my way. Or we can put that idea in their head and they'll, they'll never be able to get rid of it anymore. You're... Oh, wait, hold on. Why am I talking to you? You're the chaos demon. Hi. <laughs> no. Walk in. The other chaos demon in your head just is like... Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Walking, walking. Oh, it smells so good, man. It smells so <laughs> awful, but you know, it's your own fart and you get that endorphin rush. Woo -hoo! <laughs> Those are your chaos gremlins in your brain. All right. I have not got to bring those guys out in a while. <laughs> in two sessions. I know. But you've been causing all sorts of chaos, so they've been quiet. <laughs> I'm going to walk in, I'm going to find the keys. My family. Oh, uh, I guess everyone's uh, everyone's here. Uh, hmm? Everyone's oh, here. Hi, Jackie. Did you hey. know cloning us? Uh, I have heard. Was I the only one not told in a timely manner? I don't think I can interstellarly communicate the same way. So, Luna didn't tell me. There you Amina go. didn't tell me. Okay, okay. You hear I know who to find. I'm Mina! 
Hey, Mina. And you're, and you're like, oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> way, way down the, the place. Anytime there's a Milo involved, you definitely know <laughs> Luna's always going to be 5 to 15 minutes late on, With on reporting stuff. Or just yep. anything. Yes, um, my turn. I'm, I'm going to find my family's locker real quick. Um, you need the help Jackie, um, Nimlana. Oh. Nimlana's like, nah, I'm good. Ah, okay. I mean, I could also stand outside and guard this place if you'd like. I think you'd scare someone to death. That's the point. But also, you you do know I can go actually invisible. Not like light refraction. I'm talking like I don't exist. You like yeah, go to another existed. dimension kind of do? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. I also erased my tachyon presence. It really nice. fucks with the timeline, but I've removed myself from time and space already, so so that avoids it. But oh. I don't get a reincarnation and I don't get to uh I don't get a second try at anything. That's why I never bet. I see. I got you. Always win. No, no, I don't. But if I if I'm a betting person, probability will dictate itself at some point that um, fuck you. So right. I always go with never tell me the odds. Hmm. I don't. Get, I don't go with the odds either. They don't agree with me for some reason. So mm-hmm. what happened to the fate that I gave you then? Oh, it's right here. Bling. Is they have it in a coin. Oh, you're right. I mean, I can use it. I just can't internalize it permanently. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They'll actually flick it back to you. Give it to somebody. These are these are kind of lodestones for fate to interact with me. I was thinking about keeping. I was thinking of seeing if it changed, but it's still it's pulling fate towards me, and I I like to be unfettered. Hmm. All right. Uh, so the nanites. Give, oh, the nanites won't keep though if you don't have it. Hmm. Oh no, they they keep. Ah, all these, right. These things are. Uh, think of it this way: uh, the nanites have nowhere to go because if they leave my body, they also no longer exist. Gotcha. I have a. I had to do some really desperate stuff recently, and yeah. Well, I, I've, I've, I've made some. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. And I'm glad they're with you because it's going to be important as you're studying the, the breastplate. So, yeah, keep mm-hmm. it up. Yeah, no, right. I, I've been looking at the breastplate. It's just there's a very huge difference between the things that I've internalized and the things that are not internalized. Like, there is a literal ocean of difference and distance, mm-hmm. even though it's molecule thin. I, I don't know. I learned some time fuckery stuff. So uh, I also learned to not play with time. Fortunately, we were in a sub-dimension, but uh, if any of you guys ever are trying to develop uh, great potentia with, combined with tachyons, please don't. Holy shit. Uh, if it was in reality, I probably would have buckled it, flipped it inside out, and then booted it in the ass and told it to get lost. And then we wouldn't have time. Yeah. Yeah, don't no, no don't do that. Playing with time is is it's a bad choice. Yeah. Hmm. Shit, I need to uh unload to somebody much later, because obviously that's not uh, that trauma's not going. Lovely. Uh, I'm here to uh to unload. Don't don't you worry. I'm here for you. Uh, another um, time. <laughs> now I'm just gonna continue floating down until I find my storage locker. Huh? Um, yours is very sparse. Really? Except there's something for your parents. In the back. There's one locker each mm-hmm. that has two names on them you don't recognize. Oh? 
Alpha, Omega. Inside, what you can only describe as Hitman's uniforms. Basically, suit and tie with the uh, suit uh, and tie, but the tie is red. And then you got white and black. Uh, your parents were professional contract killers. I don't know where this Mike, lean out, Mike. Under the storm front, they retired when the Thunderhood came up, and they they, they, they just went. No, we have plenty of money. We don't need to do this anymore. Let's have a kid. Let's try this suburban stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of lean out and I'm gonna look at um. Yeah, I'm like, have you guys heard of Alpha and Omega? No. I, I've I've heard of Alpha and Omega, but I haven't I don't know the context of what you're speaking uh, of. Fair. I'm gonna look at the other one. They are identical. Mm. One's definitely fitted for a female, <laughs> one's fitted for a male. Mr. And Mrs. Smith. There are <laughs> ballistic weave resistant suits. So basically these are micro power armor clothing. I'm gonna look at it. I'm just gonna slowly close the doors. There are guns, <laughs> spy gear, assassin gear, poisons, <laughs> yeah, there's, explosives. Like, just close the doors, <laughs> and then just kind of walk out and blow it out as he's contemplating. <laughs> You know, realizing things about his life that makes more sense. Yeah, there's a reason why they were very <laughs> like, go do what you do. Yeah, right? You couldn't hurt yourself badly <laughs> if you tried. Go out and live your life. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, things are lining up now. Childhood makes sense. Mom's fish filling skills. Yeah, she she was able to flay and debone a fish in like four knife movements. It's like, hmm. What she also knife? would glare at it really hard, and you swear it obeyed. And so I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna send a message to my parents and like, we need to have a talk at some point. Did you get in trouble? They, no. They, they send you a series of probing questions. <laughs> now that you know they're contract killers, it takes on a whole different meaning. Cause they always <laughs> ask this exact same thing. Right. Tell us what happened in your words. Tell us what happened factually. Is Who's involved? What happened? All of these different <laughs> things. And it's basically like they're going to get the whole picture and then they're going to do something. I know, right? I was like, well, I was at a warehouse recently. Um, in there. Are you was, No. <laughs> um, and there was a uh, key with her family's name on it. I went... Uh, must have been Lyle L's doing. Yeah, I went to go see what was going on. Uh, in there, I found two lockers for someone named... Uh, Alpha and Omega. <laughs> there is not even a hesitation. Just they they immediately respond with, "Well, those sound like very cryptic government names. You probably should dispose of it or leave the scene immediately." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm sitting there. I'm like, see, we need to have a talk at some point. Are you in trouble, honey? Are you in trouble with the government? Do we need to come? Do we, when... do we, need, do we need to go talk to the, the, the government officials? Do we need to get you bailed out? Are they making no. you do government work? Well, I am doing government work. I don't need a bailing out. Um... <laughs> Are they treating you right? There's a bunch of very pointed questions. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, kind of. Uh... If you want, you can go. I can have you go talk to uh, Mr. Sarah of the Sarah Company. 
He's kind of been the most mean to me so far, but I'm marrying his child, so... We know him. We will, we'll, we'll have a phone call. Okay. I love you both. He says you, get to meet you each are, other. He says you're going to marry his daughter. You need to come home now. And there is the first punctuation. <laughs> Boof! Period. <laughs> Your parents do not put punctuation in any of their sentences until they do, and you know there is no <laughs> argument. I'm like, all right. You need to come home. What is this about? Marrying who? Why didn't like, you guys know? I've told you this. I've also sent you letters. Where is the save the date? <laughs> I've sent you one already. I'm getting married. <laughs> you know we don't accept open. Or you know we, we don't accept closed packages, honey. <laughs> Sigh. You know Those they trauma. don't. Every single time a no, like an envelope comes in, they always throw it in the fire. They do not open it. They don't even look at it. It goes right into the incinerator. It's like, oh, this... <laughs> they're they're like, this... oh that is them. <laughs> I'm like, all right. This With packages, still... they have a special receptacle that packages go into. They don't. The packages are never delivered to the front door. There is a sign that says, please put in receptacle. <laughs> and that just immediately goes into the furnace. Uh-uh, uh, no, it's <laughs> scanned. And the, op- the, the container is blast proof. So if it's a bomb, <laughs> the, the, the container blows up instead and reduces the blast radius. There's so many things that, come, that make sense now. Your parents were fucking weird in comparison to everyone. Yes. Your, your father had a incredible obsession over even the most mundane tools and your mother's knife collection was legendary <laughs> uh, and they were so sharp you could get a cut if you looked at them too close <laughs> it's gonna be like <laughs> all right jackie i need to go talk to my parents now i'll be back okay all right like, uh, just... talk to you soon maybe if i live all right <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're pretty hard to kill, so yeah. you got this. It's it's a death one cannot recover from, and there's not much defense against it. I mean, you're made of of phazon. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, whatever. Okay, you'll be fine. They, they love you. They love you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's his response. It's like your parents are. Uh, they're, they'll. Su- <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> you will be fine. It's gonna spoken. be okay. <laughs> I have spoken. I'm just gonna slowly float away, like the kid getting in trouble for saying too late at dark. <laughs> you haven't done that in such a long time. <laughs> That's so your character. <laughs> oh, I have to talk to mom. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh crap. Oh man. What is is Mama home? I'm just gonna follow my parent house. Yeah. Uh they're waiting on the porch and they kinda usher you in. Mm-hmm. And they immediately go to give you a hug and then they they recover very 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 quickly, but also with a bit more grace than you. I mean, you can detect it now as you are, but as a kid, you you couldn't. Yeah, they are very graceful. I'm just gonna leave them like, all right. So, marriage. What is this about? Oh yes, I'm marrying. Um, I sent you invitations. Uh, I you never, know they go right into the disposal. I I figured if I put my name on it, you guys would at least read Wait, it. You know we never read those. I know. Okay. Uh, you know we don't take that type of stuff. It could be from the government. That's fair. Uh, so that's one hundred percent your parents. If right? it's from the government, we burned it. <laughs> All right. So uh, I am marrying uh, Ashley. Sadako mm-hmm. and um, Mia. Okay. What are their qualifications? 
uh, Mia and Sadko are both. Well, okay, so Ashley, you kind of know, you know, they're mm-hmm. your first crush. Yes, uh, they're Lamarin. They're a uh, very well-renowned Leah scientist. Um, oh, okay. And your dad holds up a manila, <laughs> manila folder with a bunch of files in it. Checks out. Uh, <laughs> Mia is also a Leah scientist, but she's more of a spiritualist. Um, There's nothing wrong with a little spiritualism. And dad's <laughs> like, <clears throat> but what else has she? What does she bring to the table? Um, she's very much like a balancing factor for me versus my logical side. Um, uh, and you get um, that from your mother, by the way. Mm. I know <laughs> you're the rash one. I'm sorry. Uh, you get that from me. One of that that trouble that that urge to just act. That yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah. you got that from me. I, I yes, that's why I became a chaotic practitioner. But you know that problem in and of itself. Your your mother rolls <laughs> her eyes like, <laughs> horse. Your dad uh, doesn't show it, but he gives you a like a, <laughs> a proud of your son, but without <laughs> saying it or without showing it. It's right. very subtle. And I'm gonna look at him like, you wouldn't happen to be the gesture, would you, Dad? Hmm. The who? Mr. Smiley Face. Oh, no. Uh, don't know who that is. I'm going to look at him very, very closely. No, he's got a straight face. You've never been able to read your parents, <laughs> ever. Know, and if they but... let you, if you do read something, they let you read something, which is always a mis- mislead. I know, that's why I'm looking very closely. I'm like, hmm. Nope. They, they even school their biology against it. <laughs> They're exactly the way you remember. You which have is a, a bit pocket of a... psionicist. <laughs> <laughs> which is still actually pretty comforting, because they are hmm. literally as you remember them. Hmm. I'm like, yeah. So, and then, of course, Sadako Seri Sioux, she is... Uh, Practitioner of the spectrum crafts, uh, mm-hmm. spectrum scientists. Uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, Mia was able to make something to help me fix the problem I had with my pers- with one of my apprentices. So, um, the soul balancing thing, Crystal. I yes. Mm-hmm. They all kind of take it in, just like, and then they they start grilling you about each person, and they're like, <laughs> "Okay, well, next time, don't send an envelope. Just send a postcard. Nothing that we have to open. Just, just send the cardstock, honey. You know that we don't. None of us <laughs> like. Neither your father and I. We we don't do envelopes. I know. And and here's the thing, it's <sighs> going to be on Aries face. We haven't. I don't think we've ever been there, have we? Mm-mm, no. Aries Base is that in Canada? No, that's on in space. In space? Yes. <sighs> Why can't you have it here? Because it's a morale booster for the base before a great battle two that's where all three of us, four of us are located uh four that's where we can find the biggest venue to for sadako to rub it in to all the other there's gonna be a battle yeah <sighs> your father is just kind of scratching his chin i don't know about that son i'm not i'm not particularly fond with the idea of you going out and fighting Thought you were going to go into research, but I was going into research. You're going to be evacuated, right? No, I'm going to stay there and fight. And your mother's just like, <laughs> absolutely not. It's not my son. Why not? Well, first of all, you're too smart and too valuable to be lost in some silly battle. Let the the, I... the not smart people fight like they've <laughs> always done. So that you can continue to do what you do best, honey, which is be smart. Invent right, stuff. Right. Provide a that. path forward for our people. 
Yeah, and the problem here is I'm also going to have to do something that most of the underground government isn't going to like. We'll talk yeah. to the government, honey. They're not that. Ooh, they're yeah. not. They are not as strong as you think they are. Not the enigmatic government. The uh, governing bodies. Of the enigmatic government. The important people. Well, that's different, honey. Is it the important people or the government? The important Because those are people. two separate things. Well, <laughs> <sighs> honey, get the phone book. <laughs> and your mom like, literally no. comes out with an old, ancient, just giant ass yellow page phone book, <laughs> and she flips it open. All right, she goes to I'm one like, of the tabs, and she starts dialing on an old flip phone. I mean, you, we have, you know, we we're, were kind of dealing with it. No, nope, not my. No son of mine <laughs> is going to the front line. Mm-mm. Well, I'm not going to the front line. She kind of stops before she hits send. <laughs> We'll elaborate before I make this phone call, because once I make this phone call, there's no undoing the phone call. I know. Okay, so this is what's happening. Ah, the breaker fleet is arriving at Aries Space, which is nope, well past the, the front line. No, All right, no, hold on. is fighting <laughs> something called the breaker fleet. No, <laughs> well, wait, don't... hold on, hold on. All right, so this is the breaker fleet that is coming to Aries Space. In order, we're trying to make a peace deal with the aliens. So that way, we aliens. Oh, I, I don't, I don't have phone numbers to call the aliens, honey. <laughs> How and, some... and here's the thing: when we talk to them, we're gonna propose a final fight between champions of our enigmatic empire and them. And you're going to arm and develop technology for our champions. But no son of mine is doing a direct champions fight Mm -mm. with aliens. Unbelievable. But the thing here is we have... The audacity on these Xenos. Like, seriously. (laughs) Honey. (laughs) Words. (sighs) Aliens. Sorry, honey. Mm. But we're, I'm putting together a voting council to vote on a very important problem of our dependency on Leah and to shut it off for a bit. Oh, well, a lot of people are going to be really disappointed with that decision. Like, industry, if I remember correctly, is pretty reliant on this stuff. Yeah, and the problem there is we've been too reliant on it, and the dimension where it comes from is collapsing because of it. Oh, it's like old oh, it's like old oil reserves, honey. Like you remember when there was combustion engines, gasoline, oil, jet fuel, all that stuff? Ugh. Right. And then the oil wars. Honey, you you read on the oil wars, right? You remember that? That led to World War Three? <laughs> and you, like you I know you studied. I saw your grades. We were yes. very pleased. And the thing is, because of that, we're gonna slowly shut it off. So it gives time for it to fix itself, and then we'll reopen it again. See, we're gonna this have... is why we can't have you going around p- potentially being threatened on the front line. And you, if you die or get really hurt, well, I who's going to save the Leah? Who's going to go around saving all the Leah? I have three apprentices. I won't die. <laughs> and if anything, you know... Son, listen to your mother. Jackie. <laughs> The, this Leah stuff, it sounds like it needs saving, and it sounds like you're the right guy to go save this Leah stuff, whatever it is. I can do both. I'm under, Son, I am a very listen powerful... Listen to your mother. She is completely... Do you not see how upset she is? I know, but here's here's the thing, right? I'm an immensely powerful, destructive being that can do this. Can do both these things. Son, do, look yeah. at your mother's face. Look how <laughs> absolutely upset she is. Your mother has a flat face, but she has that slight quirk of the eyebrow. I'm just like, if there's anything I would love your guys' help with, it's helping me figure out who amongst these organizations is trustworthy for the to send for voting. I'm gonna. How are we supposed to know? I, it's, I mean, I have a phone book. I could call these people and give them a piece of my mind. And I'm like, I'm gonna put down, uh, basically. The Potency Department, well, no, we have him some Obelisk, which was our kind of, like, missing who do we trust there. Hmm. Like, anyone within Obelisk Corporation. 
oh gosh, they've been around for a while. I remember that name. And she kind of goes over and checks out literal Rolodex. See? I saved one of their business cards. Honey, that's that card's so old. They're probably... There may not even be an office still. I mean, the phone number is still good. Whoever's on the other line will pick up. And then... I Then they'll have to listen to me. Oh my God, that's not how that works. <laughs> Look. Your mom's pulling a Karen. <laughs> right? I'm saying, like, okay, first of all, I know about your guys' jobs before me, okay? Yeah, we told you about them, honey. We were I'm food talk- processing. No, I'm talking about besides food processing. Mm, mm-hmm. that's, that's, I mean, we might have dabbled in the mosaic market a little bit in our youth, but... And I'm talking before the mosaic market. Oh, maybe the mosaic market. Look, I know you guys were... You know, professional. Like, I like food make processors, just... specialists, honey. Yes. Whatever fantasy you're you're thinking of, <laughs> we're not that special, okay? And that's the way we like it. Because right, I've seen what was inside Leo's place for us and our family. Oh yeah, I met him a while ago. He actually came by one time at the uh, at the workplace. I don't know what he was there for. He was talking to the, the supervisor. It was just weird. He's He wanted to repurpose the whole building. And we're like, we, we can food. What, what do you need this building for? Me? No, that was that was a Lyle, honey. No, that, that was from the government. Well, then who's Leo Lyle? I'm going to look at them very closely again. See if they're fucking with me. No, no, (laughs) they are. What they say is true. They're not showing any signs of deception. They have completely controlled, or at least uh, what you can detect from their their sign the synapses and their bioelectricity. Still can't read it. Looks true, which makes you doubt it more. I'm looking like you know who your law is. Hmm? You know who Shingra Law is? Who doesn't? And they go over. See? I got this. This is a first edition, by the way. Cultivator Monthly, when they they actually came out with these. They don't print them anymore, but it's one of my right. prizes. And it is I'm... a Cultivator Monthly first edition signed. On the front is <laughs> Shangri Law. I'm going to look at them. Hang on a pocket. I want to see how much tension <laughs> both of them have. Zero. Mm. Mm, I look at them and I'm like... And the more you look at them, the more they just kind of disappear into the background. I'm like... Oh, that's creepy. Uh, right? lot, you stare more than 30 <laughs> seconds at them, they just, they don't, they're not there. Stop, and I lean back. I'm trying to refocus on something else before looking at them again. Are you okay? Hmm? Did something go wrong? Are you having a headache? Do you? Well, the usual headache remedy won't work because he's energy now, honey. <laughs> uh, you know how long it took me to figure the recipe out, and now it's not even usable. <sighs> Might as well take it for your wives to be. And if I don't know if you can have children, I expect grandchildren. You can have children. One of them is working on figuring that out already. You better. If I don't have grandchildren to dote over, I'm I'm going to be really disappointed. I'm just going to look at them like so. I'll look at both of them again. You guys weren't secretly assassins for the uh, for uh, Stormfront, were you? Have you been going to the Mosaic Market again, uh, or have you been like... going through the dictionary? Because okay, I'm, I've I'm heard of that dic- word before. In one of those old timey movies, I think they were called like ninjas or something. Oh yeah, look, mm-hmm. you remember, son? The old yeah. ninja movies from back then. Your mom and I had a little collection. You watched those day after day, in and out. I'm sorry to say it, son, but your mom and I were not ninjas. <laughs> Looking at them, <laughs> I look very closely. I'm like. 
there's something going on with you too. Yeah, we're, we're we're your parents, and you are an adult now. So yeah, we're different. And it's like, well, all right, my mother and father, son, <laughs> son. We can do that too. We can use vague insinuations of things, uh, son. Um, your mother's really upset though. So. Would if we you find know? you went and fought, you, you better have gone down swinging, because if you live, your mother is going to be, you're, you're going to wish you went down, because your mother is going to be <laughs> that upset with you. Okay. Would you like to come meet my girlfriends, fiancés? I look at your, mo- your mother squinted at you when you said girlfriends. <laughs> your dad raised an eyebrow when you corrected yourself. They kind of kind of share a glance. Are they girlfriends and or are they fiance do they know their fiancés they have rings okay bit of a slip of the tongue there son look and i have a lot of calculations to do constantly i get distracted every once in a while especially mm. when i have suspicious parents you're the suspicious one son being all blue and energy like <laughs> gonna go fight something called a breaker. A breaker fleet. Even Ma. worse. Your mother's like, mm, you are not fighting. If it's a fleet, that's 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 a lot of aliens. Yes, and I can destroy most of them. Well, do it not on the front line. I'm not on the front happy. line. To make I your mother happy. I won't be on the front line. Good. Anyways. Besides, uh, I think Jackie is needing me with something. Oh, and I need to teleport Nick's back. I wonder how long he's been waiting. I like how yeah. I'm the excuse for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't leave your friends waiting, and don't be a stranger. We we haven't heard from you in, in quite a while. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to look at them like, all right, I love you too. Uh, I will teleport you on the day before the wedding. Yeah. Uh, your parents are very industrious. They have a lot of the analog equipment out right now because the Thunderhead yeah. is undergoing toll. When you go outside the teleport, it is people are still complaining, and some people are literally losing their shit because <laughs> the lawn robot is just standing there, just cutting the same circle of grass because <laughs> it got a lot in a logic loop. And your dad. He he just mows the lawn with a push mower. Your house is the only one that is not <laughs> like in bedlam right now, because everyone's like, "Stupid robot! How are we supposed to have the lawn cut if you don't cut the lawn?" <laughs> and I just look, look at all this, and I'm like, "You know what? This makes sense. This makes too much sense for my family." And just gonna start walking away. People I'm freak out. Call- Blue person. Ah! <laughs> People start better, running away. I'm like, I'm like, I would call a taxi, but I don't trust that right now. I'm just gonna float down the street <laughs> and find Nick. It's, it's actually you see one other house, the very end, that also is quiet and calm, and it's like very telling. It's like I'm gonna, mm-hmm. I'm gonna float over to it. If it's Nix's house, he is currently pacing back and forth out front. No, in front it's the same neighborhood. Yeah. Um, there's an old war vet. He's sitting on the porch in his rocking chair with some sort of wrapped up rifle. So it doesn't look like a rifle. It just looks like it's, you know, covered in uh, camo cloth. Mm. No scope. Just, it's kind of rocking. I'm a, like, you okay, sir? Uh, oh, yeah, no, never been better. People watching also has never been better. This this has been an up for me. Oh, well. Look at, look at old Gary across the street. <laughs> we'll turn look at Gary. The guy, Gary's <laughs> staring at one of those turn, uh, like, uh, sorry, one of the turn faucets outside. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he knows how to work that. But the device that's supposed to be hooked up to restock the robot to to 
uh, fill its water reserves so he can take care of the lawn and the well the landscape. He's sitting there with an old data pad reading something, and he's just he's like pulling his hair out because he's just like, what? What is this so complicated? I don't know this coding. What do you mean? Uh, oh, it could be a hitch in the code. It's not intaking the water. Why is it not intaking water? Go to where's the search function on this shit? What do you mean? Ah. Uh, the, the veterans just rocking like <laughs> relying on technology you don't even know how to use. Oh, when it breaks, oh. When it breaks, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look down at his gun. You know, he could have just. You know, I, I fill a bucket, and when the bucket's filled, I then put a hose in it, and when I get my little water sprayer. Mm-hmm. Got its little backpack rig, big old canister on the back. I, you just you you pump the water in, pressurizes it, treats it, you know, infuses it, whatever the nutrient packet thing, and I just spray everything. It's not that hard. Cost me five luxury debit to buy the thing, because no one wants to do the old work themselves anymore. They got shows to watch or things to knit or paintings to paint uh i don't know entertainment stuff but no one ever wants to get their hands dirty anymore and it is so funny watching all these people and all their little fancy toys just they don't work (laughs) and i know gary's a stickler for that landscaping he might be the only one who actually figures out how that robot works because it his lawn means that much to him i swear that lawn means more to him than his own kids. <sighs> That's a trope somewhere. I read that somewhere. Oh, by the way, you're very blue. Very bright. Am yes, I going to get cancer? Probably not. I hope not. And I'm going to look down at him and like, but you're also carrying a gun, so. Mm-hmm. It's my service rifle. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, it's not loaded. It's kind of a comfort thing, as he kind of literally pulls it up, shows you it's not loaded. So, you know, I don't walk around with a loaded gun. You definitely see an ammo <laughs> crate next to his rocker, but it has a lock on it. Like, ah, uh, it's bio, so he can put his hand on his thumb on it; it'll unlock, and he can immediately start loading magazines. But it, right, it's but the, am- <laughs> the it's ammo a crate velocity gun, <laughs> like. Right, but the ammo crate next to you, and the fact oh, that just in case we get invaded by the Xenos. Oh, they ain't taking my. They're gonna get off. Have to get off my lawn. Mm-mm. Don't tread on me. Ah, I see. I'm looking at him like card carrying member of the NRA. What's that? That's okay. Or what? The ERA, Animatic yeah. Rifle Association. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... No, <laughs> it would still be NRA because <laughs> Enigmatics, they don't have a rifle association. They are deathly allergic to guns. <laughs> you, you, if, if an Enigmatic touched a rifle and they realized what it was, they, they'd faint. <laughs> it's gonna I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm looking like, so, so what do you know about those people as I point to my house over there? What do you know about them? Oh, they're nice folk, a little strange. I, I prove the way they do it. They uh, they're not afraid to get their hands dirty. You know, go out and mow your own lawn, get your hands in the earth as you take care of your flowers. You know, they, they actually do stuff. They're probably the healthiest people here, healthier than me. But as he pats his big belly, I got a bigger problem. That's yeah. Nice folk. Been over a couple times, especially since you've been out. Uh, yeah. I'm like, well, I uh, I thank you. I have to go save some people from their own well stupidity. So I'll be back. Oh yeah, I wouldn't do that if I were you, son. No. Yeah. 
Can't help stupid. I mean, I try my best. Well, you'll learn it the hard way one day. Can't fix <laughs> stupid. And, uh, I would teleport. That's not true, I'm not going to teleport. I'm willing to, like, I'm looking at, do the taxi still work? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to call a taxi. It comes down in five minutes. One of those air shuttles. Mm-hmm. Almost completely silent. One of the doors. I'm going to sit down and go, find, <laughs> go to Nyx. Yeah, the shuttle goes. The connection to the Thunderhead has unfortunately been suspended. But I am an automated program. Where can I send you? I will give them the physical GPS coordinates. Okay. It'll be 23 minutes. Ah, good. And I'm going to sit there and relax for 23 minutes. <laughs> Click. And you you enter into the, uh, the skyways and you float gently up into traffic. And you're off. Yep. And then the door's lock, and then there's an anti face on shield, and then he crashes, <laughs> and you're sent to the dark dimension, and you're dead. Ah, I knew it. All <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm like it's the first time. It's an uneventful <laughs> flight. <laughs> right. the first time I don't just do randomly a jump. This is what happens. Right. There's a reason I don't use those transit. The last time I was in one, I got blown out of the sky by Ezekiel. <laughs> Alright. Uh, looks like Johnny is going to go to bed. Liam had to leave. Um, Ogre, you're still recovering. And yeah. the... <sighs> we'll end the scene there with you then. As you fly back to the others. Well, so. I Thank you for playing, folks. Bed, then. <laughs> Talk to you all later. Uh, Ogre, uh, mm-hmm. if you have a preferred loose leaf tea, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll have it shipped from my favorite tea place. And uh, hopefully it'll... I yeah. I am a fan of like hot teas, like green tea, mm-hmm. but I prefer something a bit sweeter. So if yeah. you know like a sweet green tea... I'd really love it. All right. I'll figure it out. Uh, you might have to add a little bit of sugar, because most that, of the teas from this place are not. Um, you that can is, always do ice steeping. Yes, you could yeah. always ice steep it. Yep. Yeah, that's no worries whatsoever. If you find a brew, let me know, and I'll send you my address. Yeah, no, just send it to me. I'll, I'll have it shipped starting tomorrow. All right, man. Uh, yeah, man. Kind of my uh, get well, mister, kind of gift. Well, thank you kindly. Like I said, it was bad Chinese takeout. Me and my roommate did our (laughs) once a month. We're ordering from somewhere and we tried a new joint. We are not trying there again. (laughs) Mm. Fair. Yeah. Fair, fair. Talk to you folks later. Be well, sleep well. (laughs) Uh, I've been waiting to do that to you for quite some time. (laughs) I'm going to move up to the just chilling. Uh, Fair.